Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns? Riders! Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me. When you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled at Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it.
This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Easy. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah! Keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Are you getting on? How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Hmm. Look here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like... Butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? Shit! Yeah, we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn! You okay? I think so. Keep your head down. That's finished. 
That'll show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It is good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Easy.
Kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Pearson was moaning about those. I... I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. We'll need more food soon, Mr. Morgan. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Feel free to go and catch it yourself. I have bad luck with deer, sir. But if you set me off the sea, I'll catch you a feast. We'll find ourselves in the street route, same as usual. But we are making money. Then we will find an escape. We're gonna be okay. I agree. And get some big money. Good morning, Arthur. Get lost. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Fatso! You starving us here? How's it going? Doing well. Maybe there's a pot of gold at the end of it. Or the Blackwater money. Okay. That's me out. There she is. Good morning. Susan! 
Hey, Dutch. Oh, it's good to have Micah back again, huh? I ain't so sure about that. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Have a seat in a swig, Arthur. I'm scared. Scared of what? Pinkertons. Bounty hunters. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Dutch, Vanderlyn, and Hosea Matthews were talking about. This is a whole world could be after them, and they'd still find a way out. Really? They've been on the run for ten years or more. Hush yourself, ye of little faith. You'll be able to make something nice with that. This is all I got for you. Very good. We were getting low. Just make sure it goes into the pot, and not your pocket. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hello. Come, have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Can I talk to you a minute? Well, I reckon break's over. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> When are we hunting another bear? I hear you saved Mr. Uh, Bell from a hanging. Maybe not for a while. I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. I'm saying, way I see it, we gotta try. I have better days. Ain't that a shame. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Yes, but, uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur, even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Sit down, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? All okay? Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Thanks. Looking good, Bill. I said hello, tough guy. Yes, hello, Arthur. Calm down. Yeah, real funny.
pearls actually appear to be working. Of course. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. Sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. You see that deer? Yep. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Arthur. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? Now first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? 
Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, oh, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some... Those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right, let's see what's biting there. Whoop, think I got one. Well, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is clearly the spot for smallmouth bass. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You got to stick at things, Jack. I know. I think you've got a bite. There we go. Is it a big one? Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. 
Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yeah. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.
say, Morgan. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know, <laughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. <laughs> You don't have to talk to me about faith. I don't? No. Well, I should get back to it. Problems you shout out, Lenny. My girl.
mister. Welcome back, mister. All right, take a look. Oh, you got something for me? Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Oh, yes. People lose these all the time. Okay, I'll take another. Okay, always welcome. Very nice. Shame to part with it, I bet. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Stay safe and quiet. Girl. Hey, partner. Hey, friend. Howdy. You got any idea what time it is? Hmm. I don't know. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, 
All the horses untethered? Can't you go any faster? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. So, yes. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Cause I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Beat it up, Let's Arthur. get it up. <laughs> Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire, yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Make that quick and join us on there. Go hey. on! Get on there! Bastard! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. make sure you get shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! This is unnecessary. Please. I ain't robbed, got nothing. Mister. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo got. and Juliet here? Please. For your money? Please. Nothing Don't else. Do make me hurt you. Hurt. Money! Hey! Don't hey. do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on. Okay! In the bag, God everything you got! Maybe what you got, mister, you, like you, you make won't me get her. Empty you your pockets, mister. Again. You can be on your please, way. Stop. No. Don't help me! Please, please, don't do it. I don't want, you to I want to count to three? Hey, we're dying over one. No. Tell him, mister, M. Yeah, damn it. Ah. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. 
got a big no, problem. Tough guy, huh? You boys need me. You sure about no. that? No. You go ahead and you look sure for the this baggage son of a car. Bitch, we ain't playing Good around job. here. Why are you wasting our time, huh? Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this, this bag's is full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Nothing else. Make me hurt you. No. Get right. Why do this? Give me everything you got. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> to cover my best brother but I'm seeing double here that gives you twice the chance of hitting someone <laughs> very funny oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a ride out lump Arthur we've got a problem there's two arseholes on horses how many you say I just see a pair of them All right, in that case we're fighting Marston Smith Get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more to turn enough. <sighs> Me and my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. There they are! Open fire! Shit! We got more on the left! More coming through the trees, you see them?
Let's lose him. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. You there! Unless you want to be a victim of the old Driscoll gang, you get away from this camp! Go now! You don't want... It. Don't waste your time...
Okay then, girl. Yeah. Yeah, you good, girl? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, girl.
Yep. There we go. Hey, mister. Go on. Yeah. Hey, good partner. For nothing cheating, uh, bastard. I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. Shit. Fair and square, my ass. You heard me. Fair and square. <laughs> well, why don't you let your pistol do the talking? Fine by me. Your move. Oh, my oh, God. God. Do it! All right, come on! Yeah! Come on! Who else wants some, huh? Who? You know what? I ain't even gonna waste a bullet on you. Fine then. Guess you're just yellow. <laughs> you okay, boy? Welcome back. A lot of horses have been coming up missing lately. Well, isn't this whole place just going straight to hell? A lot of folk coming by with these lately. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. This poor fella been torn up. Drops the price, I'm afraid. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks for your help. Come on, girl. Come again. Get in quick first before I eat all these chops myself. Go on now! Ain't worth the trouble. Out of my way. Hey, boy. Hi. Howdy. Say it nicely, miss. Hello. Hi. Am I that easy to forget? Hey there, folks. Hello. Yeah. Sure am enjoying watching you sweat Howdy. over this. Mister. Bars open. Enjoy the morning, mister. What do you have? After before, I guess I'm so weary of you. Hey, mister. Good morning. 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 Me? Ah, oh, no. Sorry, you must have me confused. Uh, hello there, Who's sir. this then? Don't think I see Listen, you, here you won't get no trouble out of me. Mmm. So, don't worry. See ya. Hello, mister. What kind of thing you looking for?
Work this good, I ought to up my prices. I can do just about anything, even them new city stops. I put my savings into booze again. What an idiot. Right then, you are all set. Thanks, partner. Give me something to drink, anything. Here it is. Another? Of course. There. Hey, friend. Morning, partner. say manners cost nothing okay then hey there mister i just saw hey the hell is wrong with you i'm only joking with you you're quite a joker hi there mister hello Welcome. Come on in. Morning, boy. I need a wash. You got a bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. No, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protected. any assistance in there. Sure. Sounds good. You can just leave it to me now. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. So, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Gotta take a break sometime. That's too short. <laughs> yes, indeed. Some parts of me probably ain't been this clean in months. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. It was a pleasure. All the best to you.
Levi's crop short again. Wonder where they'll say this time. Yeah, I heard that. You done enough harm here. Hello, mister. Hello there, mister. 